What's up? This is your boy Stupid. I'm playing Graveyard Keeper. Is it called RL? Let me take a look at the information screen. For some reason I thought it was Graveyard Keeper RL. So I watched some, a couple YouTubers play this and I, I, it looked very interesting to me. And then it was released as a PS Plus free game for subscribers. So I got it. It's an indie game. It's kind of like Stardew Valley and Minecraft. Sailor Moon, those types of similar, similar, those types of games and similar, like Farm Simulator, Career Simulator, it's like a top-down, retro-style pixel art type of game, where we, we are the keeper of a graveyard. We have to autopsy, dissect the bodies, we have to repair the church, rebuild the cemetery, we have a lot of things to do, and we have a the talking donkey is our boss. Very different than most games I play. It's kind of like a strategy management game. Not really strategy. Management, colony builder type game. Except you're not building colony. Because you're very technical. PC game, not really designed with consoles in mind. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Looks like The Undertaker. They've, all, they've released little caricatures of The Undertaker back in the 90s and things, like little little mini Undertakers with big heads. It means you're a graveyard keeper now. Undertaker's a wrestler in the WWE. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Now rest in peace. What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Gary. Sleep. I can't sleep right now. We got a chest. It's empty. We got a wardrobe, a boudoir. We got a cooking table. We can make berry juice if we have the ingredients. We got a storage in the kitchen. We got a fireplace. We can cook fuel, coal, sticks. We got a hatch. It goes down underneath our house. We have a house, we have a yard, we have a blueprint table, we have a lot of things. None of which are accessible to us right now until we dig up Gary. Get a press and hold triangle. <laughs> Holy sard, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with the red eyes told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. Oh, sard, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that we, you would answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where, where the Sard are we? Hmm. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait you, for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Donkey. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. I would be more concerned about the corpse than a talking donkey, honestly. Do the negative aspects of it. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm a talking donkey. That's who I am. I'm in cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. Okay, next screen. Come on. Oh, and I'm only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? I. The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. But I know better than that. 
Anyway, I need to go back to the town, get rid of this one, I'll bring you a new one. Aye, what a strange land this is. 100% fresh body here. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. I'm going to puke. Let's do it. It's down to 99. Use X to pick up and drop large items. Ugh. Morgue. Enter. We've got an examination table. Start. I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh, yeah. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure. It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. You promise to tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. You've unlocked a new technology and got a blueprint for preparation place, a blueprint for a pallet, and how to learn how to extract flesh. Autopsy. Flesh. Extract. Work. Got a whole triangle. You would like new technology and got the recipe for a burger, a sandwich, and baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it, so what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Take body. Exit. There we are. I don't know, pick it up. We're trying to talk to him. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave. Then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury. Decorate. Warning. Do not use gold skulls or up that upside down stars for decoration. Build grave sites. Can we go up here? Dig it, it's down to 93. Into the corpse, bury it. All right, we got a burial certificate. Nicely done, hmm, this burial certificate, I remember, money, alcohol, prostitution and gambling. Those were the days. Alcohol, mm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, no. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. Can I get to the settings, please? I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why do I have to come here every week? Okay, we got some options. I got some volume problems here. So how's the grave doing? We can exhume it. We can put a fence. We can put a gravestone. It's minus one. It's bringing down our property. So we got flesh and a burial certificate. In the trunk we have wood repair kit, stone repair kit, rusty axe, rusty pickaxe, and rusty hammer. So we can build a grave site, a flower bed, or remove a site. We can talk to the bishop. Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been expecting him for 30 years, but he just pretends there's nothing wrong. Well, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. You get skull reward wreath points. Current location is in, is in the top left. Important location information and graveyard quality is a skull wreath. The church appeal is a cross. Etc. Repair the graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. 
You've locked into technology and got the ability to create a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five skulls, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha! I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha ha! Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it out. I'll come by next week. In fact, I come here every <coughs> void day. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha <laughs> ha! I have one tiny, tiny question. What is this burial certificate? <clears throat> as soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade the burial certificate for money at the village tavern. New task. About this certificate. Can you tell me more about the burial certificate? Is it your repayment for laying our brother into rest? It's all part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you trade the burial certificate for money at the tavern. This seems too complicated. It has to be a dream. And where is the village? Just go east of the graveyard gate along the old stone road. And where is the village? Just go east from the graveyard gate along the... Where's the town? The town is in the heart of the glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, the cathedral everything is there. You should see it for yourself. But in those clothes, that would be rather funny. Ha ha! How can I get to the town? It's not far from the village. Just head south from the tavern. Okay, no more questions. How can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. The same screen, okay. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work when I crashed and died. I need to go home. There's this talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Haha, <laughs> a fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Ha <laughs> ha. Blessed and beautiful. You BBW. A BBM. Laugh. Ha ha. That's it. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. To craft new items, you need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press the touchpad to open the tech tree. Red points represent your hand crafting skills and your ability to work with materials. Green points represent your knowledge about the nature of things and nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immortal material world. You'll get your first spiritual point at the study table in the church basement. You can earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at a special table. You've unlocked a new technology and got the blueprint for a stone stockpile. And you've learned how to gather stone rock. You can collect small pieces of stone from a small rock or get a huge piece from a big one. You've unlocked a new technology and got a blueprint for timber stockpile. You learned how to gather small trees. You learned how to fell, fell, fell small, tr small trees. And you learned how to collect sticks from dry brushes. And we've got a tech tree and we've got points. Sawing. Stone working, fireworks, and we can go to character, caricature, NPCs, map. I guess they want us to unlock something. Hmm, about sawing, not enough points, how about stone working, not enough points, why would you take me to the screen then, man, so we, what do we want from here, At minus 29, how do I get to say the objective screen, I think it's in the NPCs, you need to get back to your loved one, sell the burial certificate at the tavern. I want to take... <clears throat> Let's just stick with the, what the game has planned for us. Is there a jump, a sprint? There's got to be a sprint. I mean, let me take a look at the controls. Interact, work, attack with a sword, quick item, no sprint. Nobody's at the morgue. This is like, like I, I like Stardew Valley a whole lot and there's not a lot for me to complain about it, but sometimes I would find myself wanting it to be more adult themed and this is exactly that.
This is a far walk. We need to get that goat and have him carry us around at the wheat farm. After the wheat farm is wheat farm's not even on the map. Here we're here at the village. Now we gotta head to the tavern. Right here. <laughs> Who are you? I'm not in a good mood, go away. Who are you? Arr, Brian Dark, not today, matey. How about you? Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horodric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today because things have been crazy since then. Oh, I'm sorry. I could not have recognized you. Good. This is all good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while. He's, so he's like accidentally committing to it. He said, I'll fix the graveyard first and I'm opening the church. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? About this burial certificate, he told me you would buy it. Yes, that's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Do you know how I can get back home? You're at the dead horse. Oh, it looks medieval. Maybe I travel through time. And what year is it now? Year, what do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. What have you been listening to with the astrologers' nonsense? Everybody knows that the Earth is flat. But I get you, it's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after, mm, never mind. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom, and it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? How can I get a town pass? How does he know what a town pass is, and how do we not know? Hmm, it's rather complicated. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, so you can just purchase citizenship. Let me think, hmm, you know, there is one villager who could help you. Miss Chom, maybe she can help you. I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. New task. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it really looks good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Maybe at where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. <clears throat> There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp, but to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every red day. I bet she can help you to find Snake. Thanks. Leave. So there's, there's a weird guy in the corner. Oh, Keeper, could you kind of take this letter to our local blacksmith, Cresvoid? Sure, and I can find it. Where can I find him? Southeastern corner of the village. This guy over here looks like he might be called Snake. We can't interact with him. What about this gal? You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how do you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Miss Chain, Hordrick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, oh, you better talk with my husband. He is in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is to sell you some recipes. Oh, you didn't afford me the option. Or give me the option. There you go. Trade recipes, silver, like 830, 8 silver, 30 copper with a recipe somewhere around there. Southeastern corner of the village. <coughs> the blacksmith. It's a farm and it looks like everybody has their own wood, wood to chop. I don't think we can get back up. We should have stayed on the road. I hope we can get through. That kind of looks like a blacksmith. Yeah. What are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the local graveyard keeper. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. Give him the letter. I have a letter you from Hordrick. Hordrick, Hordrick. A letter, of course. One minute away, he can't be bothered to come see himself. Come himself. 
I guess old habits never die. Thank you, sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. <clears throat> Slimes again. Hordurk asked me to get rid of them. <clears throat> I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy portion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. If you can keep the whetstone, maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house near the puddles. <clears throat> and different actions in the game spend your energy. The blue bar. Crafting, gathering, fighting, taking energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press square to attack. You can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Press the touch pad for your inventory. Sleeping will also cure both of those. <clears throat> Excuse me, both of those. In the mines, duh. You know what? Where can I find some ore? Or swamp soil. Swamp to the west across the river. The bridge collapsed. We got the recipe for a furnace and how to create iron ingots and swamp iron. We gotta go defeat the slimes. I didn't set up the up the side of his house. Broken sword with a whetstone craft. <coughs> Probably means in the swamp. This is a different swamp, I think. Oh, there's some slimes. Wonder if I miss it still consumes energy. I guess that was it. I like the combat, it's fun. <coughs> <coughs> Every time I try to clear my throat, I have a hiccup. Simple iron parts were obtained. Take this whetstone, just sharpen your broken tools, and then be good as new. We got the recipe for green and red jelly. Excuse me. I'm not buying anything from him. You got any tasks? You can get, get a beer from the tavern. This should be back up north. Oh god. This is the tap tavern. <coughs> yes indeed. Give me a beer. Foster's Australian for beer. Alright, we could sell this we don't have any money, huh? He has ten silver. He'll give us one silver, one and a half silver for that burial certificate. Oh, we got a mug of beer. Okay, I'm still selling the burial certificate and <coughs> I guess we'll get a, another beer. Back to Jerry. <coughs> oh my God! <coughs> it does consume energy, rather even if you miss. Peaceful and beautiful in this land. Oh, what was that? So, Jerry, where you been? I thought the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. Excuse me, I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. I felt like new technology and learned how to gather edible mushrooms, berries, and apples. Berries. Wheat. Exactly. I remember baking bread from it and pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. We know how to create dough, pastry dough, and bread. Toast, on onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sorry, you know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Questions? Ask about the small road. Yes, can you tell it was the rhetorical? Do I look like a magic head with answers? 
Well, technically, yes. Sarge, you a smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. Mm. No beer, no answers. Hey, donkey. What's that sound? Snake. Damn gate. I come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Looks like I removed this blockage and fortify the arch. Need. I can't see. Wood wedge, wooden plank, and simple iron parts. We got the iron parts. We need wood wedge, wooden planks. Uh, recipe mm. simple and tasty. Can I read that? You learned how to bake mushrooms and apple. Mm. Flour. Mm. Eggs. Don't we have an X in the trunk in the cemetery? Mm. I need to go take a nap. Mm. Oh, we didn't get much sleep. I'm so refreshed. This is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for long. You know how long I'm your... Mm. I'm so lonely, poor for me, it's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. <laughs> this sounds like something you could help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Rat Yordrick and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, oh, the half-head dead skull is a jealous bastard. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner gravy. So mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that stole that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy to dig up a corpse. You need a license. Since the old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Fortunately, we need more sleep. All right, dig up a body and bury. We also need to get our tools from the church, if we have any. Oh my God, this is terrible. There's still no bodies at our house. This is the lower right corner, right? Like this one. Exhum. So it still said it was 100% fresh. Oh, oh my God, these hiccups are going to kill me. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you, he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyways, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. <laughs> you know where the river leads? The river is somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what, you're one of those guys that looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> <clears throat> you need to fire in some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm, you need a nice quiet place like the place I use for my meditation across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Each important character who the graveyard keeper meets will appear in the character screen. The bishop, his motto, pray, preach, and look like you won the lottery. Reach five skulls at the graveyard. This character's relationship from zero to a hundred is shown below the character. 
The task related to the character are listed to the right. Some services require a certain level of happiness. This is Jerry. Get a beer from the tavern. I got a beer. Let's see if we got an axe over here. Rusty axe. I'm taking all, all these things. Hold up. I'll find the graveyard for now. See if we can chop a tree. Where's my wood stockpile at? Or should I have to make one still? Oh, oh my god. I think this is it. Let's head back to the cellar. Chop these down. Good night. Uh, iron parts, the nails. Simple iron parts. We're also getting like skill points. Red, red skill points. for stones. Garden, oh no. We pick these berries, no. Building, use a blueprint desk to access the building interface and start building or removing objects in the area. Some objects will be built immediately. Some of them will need a little bit of extra work with your hammer. This will spend time and energy. Trunk, furnace, timber stockpile, increase your yard space, stone stockpile, remove. Where are we going to cut this wood at? There's a grindstone. What do we do about wood? How do we cut wood? What can we do with the stump? Pull it out. Oh, yeah. Crematorium. Okay, that's not how you cut wood. How do you cut wood, man? It's like what we need is the wood. And where do we give this guy his beer at? can forge the thing. Oh yeah. Be fun. Just gotta learn how to cut wood eventually. Why is there two things for the garden? The garden, property and foreclosure. This one also says the garden. Okay. How do we get the recipe for wood and everything when we can't make it? What is this? A grave? No. I don't know, I'm just cleaning up, I guess. 
Create nails, simple iron parts, or glass. Of course, we're gonna go with nails and glass. Oh, we can't. Gotta go back to bed. Home sweet home. I'm so refreshed. Not this again. Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though, I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh fine, I'll tell you, each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make the graveyard a peaceful place when it has a full of, when it, it is full of red skulls. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Haha, <laughs> you better take a good care of that graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets its red and white skulls from its body parts. You can change a corpse's red and white skulls by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase the graveyard's skulls is to decorate graves with objects that have more decoration points. Each line that has both a skull and a wreath counts as one skull with a wreath. Lines that have red never count, but you need to fill them with wreaths to reach white skull lines. Okay. Where's Jerry? Where do we cut this wood at? Furnace wooden anvil. How do I not have the stumps? So what do I need to do with that? I'm so confused. How do we cut wood, man? Stone garden. Let's do the map. Sweet home, old graveyard, more wheat farm. Up the mushroom. I think he's stuck. Okay. I don't see a place to cut any wood at. So where do we craft at? We've got the recipe for planks and that. I remember seeing it. Swamp here.
gotta be right here at this crafting table, doesn't it? Trunk, furnace, wood anvil, timber stockpile. There's no crafting recipes in here. Now we can get glass. We get seven blue, dark blue points. We can't get anything. Carpenter's workbench. We need sawing equipment. How do we get sawing equipment? Where is the damn skull at? I have a beer from the tavern, do I not? Frothy beer from the tavern. How do we get the carpenter's workbench, man? Garden, can't do anything. Stone pile, log pile, trunk. Yard, we can get a trunk. We can actually can get a trunk, a furnace, a wooden anvil, timber stockpile, no carpenter's workstation. Use a grindstone for something. Why is the skull not letting us give him a beer? Need to get some big rocks. Can't do anything with that. Oh, there's some ore. Hooray, iron ore. Carpenter. Somehow, some way. It's in the basement. We oh, we can craft things in the basement. The trunk. Well, we can't make planks just yet. Can't find the old skull guy. Sleeping our lives away. I'm so refreshed. to five first before we can become a carpenter we can minus one for each hole we fill in we have negative 29 and we got to get the positive five that's an insane amount of work really Do it. About this big old mangrove tree here. That's crazy. It looks like it's alive. It's a grave. We don't want to exhume. We got no gravestones and things to put on it. Uh, we put an empty grave site. And so we can put a gravestone on it, or we can put a stone grave fence, fix it. If 
Perfect, now we're zero. Gravestone, fix gravestone. Plus two. So we're at negative 19. It's looking good. Fix the fence. Oh, we're out of stone. Fix fence repair kits. Or else it just didn't need to be repaired. Negative 16. Negative 13. It's all of our fixy thing. Oh, here's the last one. We got a body. Move your little sausages. Little kielbasas. Are we going through here? Oh my god. Hello, why would I forget the body? So flesh, is that, is that all we can do is extract the flesh? Okay, so I guess it's all right. We could add body parts to it, that's wild. We got a fresh grave already dug too. Just can't get any decorations for it. Getting kind of tired, we're at negative 10. This should bring us to negative nine. Oh, we got a burial stick. What else can we do with it? No gravestone, no fence. Maybe we should have put it in a better grave if we if we had one. So we got some money. We're going to sell the burial certificate, but the skull is in the morgue. We're going to give him his beer. Hey, where's my beer? Give him a beer. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. All right, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you will, you're, you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern, and tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right, I should be more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get home? Use the portal on which hill? So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow, the church has the library in its cellar? Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. How can I get to the library? Obviously through the church, and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Or even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net, I used to like fishing, I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish like this, sorry, I got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails, and once, you know what, I need to go. Sure, sure, it's nice to have legs, don't forget to bring me some wine. Ask about astrology, always smart, very cheerful, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best, and he was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day. Where's the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's see, started? I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not, you're not a very good friend, you know. Back, back. And it's wine. See ya. That's all we have, just get him, him wine. Of course, we gotta sleep. Wouldn't mind having a nice supply of stone. We haven't found the right ones to stockpile there yet, though. Go we'll see astrologer at the lighthouse. Is that what we gotta do? Then we gotta get one. Simple enough. We got a burial certificate to sell. I'm so refreshed. We got another body. Yeah. Well, I hard walk back into town. So you what? 
Maybe you can bump into a boulder. It's over chill. Hey, 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 not now. It's the bishop, isn't it? Some flowers. Dandelion, white flower, yellow flower. Cracks in the earth. A gnarly ash tree. A regular ash tree. Yellow flower. I have me a regular. Arugula and sprouts. You reckon? <laughs> it's this old tavern at. Holy Tabernacle. Pastor's choir. Hey, hey. Who is? Charlie. Not in the mood. Go away. Bitch, you always in the mood. I decided we well, spitting on the bar to clean it up. Out in the bad garden near the graveyard, can you tell me about it? Well, the garden was seized by the merchant to cover some debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. I give you permission to use the garden. Who else could agree to go crops in the graveyard? You unlock the ability to create an empty garden bed. Keep listening. Sounds great. Still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine. Just promise to settle the details with him later. Sure thing. It, he comes to trade with the locals every devil day. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. Trade. Burial certificate. Another dollar fifty. Thank you much. Wine, wine, wine. Firewood. Onion rings. Bread soup. Beet slices. Carrot cut with lentils. Bowl of sauerkraut. Teleport stone, great pie, and a bee. I don't see any pie. Tier two. Get to tier two with the vendor. So that's going to take some doing there. I think I might just drink this beer. Okay. That worked out well, I reckon. I reckon not. I reckon not. I reckon not. Hey. Nothing to do now, I reckon. The barn just south of here. Well, the farm just south of here. There's a lot of things just south of here, my man. Can we pluck this stuff? Pick it? No, it looks delicious. Vibrant, ripe, and juicy, plump. Path to the town is closed. You need a pass to leave. So where is this guy's house? He said it was south of the village in a bow one. got the blacksmith, the scales. I think he might be right like here or something. Where these scales at? Oh, fuck, now I'm all confused. Well, if they know here, yeah, there ain't nobody there. We can't go in. Here we go, potion vendor. She sells clay ceramic bowls. Okay. So that is obviously. It just, that, that couldn't be the balance. The pond, lumber mill, village. Okay, well, let's head now off to the lumber mill. Reckon we need some planks. Does he want. We're stuck in here. We need a wedge and a plank, I reckon, to clear the rubble. Here, 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 here. There we're at the village now. The one right above this is something. It's right here, yep, yep, pumpkins. And he has beeswax honey and a bee. Okay, so right above there is something. Oh, right there, right there, right there indeed. 
Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Fresh beef, no wine. So above there is the lumberjack. To the right, I see him now, Trey. What do you sell? The wine? We got a body. We got to get Pete. He sells Pete. We got a body. We got to get home. So we need a wedge and a fitch. His brother Corey sells stone materials. We need a wooden stick, a wood wedge. We need six and then some pitches and get seven finish off or okay let's see if we can get home to this body before we run out of time you know how Time keeps time goes by so slowly, so slowly, so slowly, so slowly, slow, slowly, slow. That was so hypnotic, psychedelic. Donkey, donkey, come back here, donkey. You need technology. I thought I learned how to trip on shrooms. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good, were there any problems? No more senor, I said that there was this strange fellow snooping around. Oh, there he is! Hold, hold, hold! No, guys, calm down, I used to live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys, he's a cultist for certain, mi senor. I'm the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. So you can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? Agree. It could be my honor. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Uh, dodge. Because the guy said not to tell anybody. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. On what? You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the great inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously suspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. A righteous anger arises within my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years, and it's only the beginning. Burn the witch. Burn, light the fire. Yes, Monsignor. Monsignor. Long live the great Inquisitor. Hurrah. Hurrah. Hip, hip. So you work with a lot of dead bodies? Yes, I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside the hill in the graveyard, correct? Yes. We oui. interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers, they don't go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves at death. But you're here now. You might notice something unusual. Agree to be his friend. Sure, it would be my pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. You wouldn't mind trusting to be a friend of the Inquisition? You are first have to show your goodwill. So I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in the time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sorting the minor details. We can talk at the next day or any other day. I like to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. This has been your boy, Super Plank Graveyard Keeper.